Yo, what is going on guys? Today some insanely good new cards drop for the Super Bowl promo for Mutt 16 and the card I'm most excited about is this 96 Drew Brees. We actually have the 93 version of Brees that we can compare him with. As you can see, the 96 version blows him out of the doors except for awareness, but awareness doesn't really matter. It's only a three differential. So one better speed, three less awareness, three better throw power, uh, and three better throw short. One better throw medium, three better throw deep, two better play action, and five better throw on the run. So this 96 Breeze looks glitchy, and his throwing stats are absolutely incredible. 98 throw short, that's just unthinkable. I don't even think the 97 Aaron Rodgers card that came out has 98 throw short. But 98 throw short with 95 throw medium, 94 throw deep with 93 throw power, that's just absolutely incredible. And 97 play action, this card is glitchy and I'm going to be looking to get my hands on this card soon. I assume his price is going to be dropping along with Aaron Rodgers once Steve Young comes out, which I think is later this week around like the actual date of the Super Bowl. Once that last patch comes out on Sunday, I believe that's actually when the card will be dropping in Mutt. But once that card does drop, I assume Breeze's price is going to drop down a bunch. Right now he's going for around a million, and there's only one of his card up. Same with Aaron Rodgers, but he's going for a bunch, like 2.3 mil currently. As you can see, this Aaron Rodgers is pretty good also with 81 speed, 89 awareness, 98 throw power with only 94 throw short compared to 96 Breeze's 98 throw short, 95 throw medium accuracy, 94 throw uh, deep, 91 play action, and 90 throw on the run. So this Aaron Rodgers card looks very good also, and he's got very good speed also for being an Aaron Rodgers card and comparing with the 93 Breeze. As you can see, he's a lot better, but Breeze got him beat in awareness, throw short, and play action. So both of these new quarterbacks that came out are looking very nice in mud, and I'm looking forward to picking up this 96 Breeze because he looks very, very good. And some of the cards that came out yesterday on February the 1st is this Hakeem Nix card, and we'll take a look at his stats real quick and compare him with our best wide receiver. As you can see, this Hakeem Nix, he doesn't have anything on Isaac Bruce, but if we compare him with Bmar, who has the same overall, Bmar still has him beat in just about everything, but this Hakeem Nix does have 93 speed, 96 catching, 72 elusiveness, 94 spec catch, 97 release, 91 route running, and 97 catching traffic, along with 97 jumping, so it does look pretty good, but obviously, compared to Brandon Marshall, and considering Marshall's the cheaper card, obviously you guys know who to go with in that matchup. But another one of the new cards that came out yesterday, I believe, is this Dante Whitner, and we can actually compare him with Rashad Jones. As you can see, he's got Jones beat in speed. Speed. Same acceleration got him beat in play rec and tackling, but has less man coverage, less zone, and less pursuit. But he does have 99 hit power, so this Dante Whitner card looks very good nonetheless. And I believe he did drop yesterday on the first, and this video is going up on the second when uh, the other new cards came out. And there is a 98 Derek Brooks that I'll show you guys in a little bit, but he's not up on the auction block right now, so I'll show you guys him his stats on Mutthead in a little bit. But anyways, this 97 Ty Law came out yesterday also, and I believe he's the, one of the sets, and we have Adam Jones to compare to. We don't have any very good cornerbacks on our team, but as you can see, this 97 Ty Law has 94 speed, 96 acceleration, 93 agility, 99 man coverage with 95 zone, 95 press, 94 play rec, and 88 catching. So this Ty Law looks very good, and he, you know, he's considered a small player at 5'11", but height doesn't really matter in this game. As you can see, I got Adam Jones as my best receiver at 5'10", which is even smaller, and he still gets the job done. He's a very good card, so I can only imagine how good this Ty Law plays. So here we are on Mutthead.com. As you guys can tell this Derek Brooks looks very glitchy he's 98 overall and he's not up on the auction block for any console he's got 93 speed 96 acceleration 90 jumping 87 strength 92 awareness 98 stamina 91 agility 90 catching and 96 injury he's got 97 tackling 86 finesse move 95 play rec 95 hit power 90 block shed and 83 man only 74 power move, but obviously he's better at finesse move, and he's a linebacker on top of that. 99 pursuit and 94 zone coverage. This card looks very, very good, and he's probably one of the, he is the best left outside linebacker in this game, and he's probably going to be one of the best linebackers in Mutt for a while. This card looks very good, and 
If he's up on the auction block and you got the coins for him, I'd say jump the gun and get this guy because he is probably going to be very, very glitchy in a 4-3 defense. So that's basically it for this video. A bunch of new cards came out today, so be sure to go check them out for yourselves and maybe pick up some of them. I'm definitely going to be getting that 96 Drew Brees once his price drops a little bit because uh, it's like going for a million right now. That's definitely going to drop within a week. So I'm going to be picking up that 96 Brees soon and get you guys gameplay with that. But let me know in the comments who you guys are going to be going after and if you think I should go after anybody else besides the 96 Drew Brees card. And please leave a like in this video if you did enjoy a good gameplay, like a very, very epic gameplay is dropping tomorrow on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. But hopefully you did enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next Man 16 video too tomorrow. Peace out, guys.